Hello and welcome to our second open evening part of the series of virtual activities taking place from Southwest College this week. We are so excited to welcome you to an action packed programme. I'm Liam Curran, Centre of Excellence and Spanish for Higher Education, and tonight I'm joined by my colleague John Moss, Head of Faculty for the Faculty of Built Environment, Creative and Life Sciences. This evening is all about giving you an insight into life at Southwest College and showcasing the high education, higher level apprenticeship offers that we can offer, offer, offer you. Now, many of you may not know that in September of this year, we are moving to a brand new world, state of the art campus in Enniskill. This campus is the first Passive House Premium and Briam Outstanding Education Building in the UK. The world class facility boasts modern learning spaces, the latest classroom technology, and modern study spaces, not to mention an amazing view of Loch Air. So, if your course is based in Enniskill this year, you'll be one of the first students to study there in September. John. Tonight. Our colleagues will talk about the wide range of higher education and apprenticeship uh, programmes that are available to you within the Faculty of the Built Environment, Creative and Life Sciences. Whether you know what you would like to do or are still unsure, our hope is that by the end of this evening you will be able to make an informed choice about your future. Don't forget, if you would like more details on any of our programmes, just uh, join our website. Today, students are met with an array of further and higher education opportunities. And you may wonder about the benefits of attending your local further education college rather than going to university. At Southwest College, we can offer you strong employer links to help you get valuable placement and employment opportunities. Our courses are employer led, so by the end of your studies, you will be work ready. Our classes are smaller and allow for greater interaction and student support with staff. And our courses are accredited by our partners, the Open University, Queen's University and Ulster University and Pearson's. So you can gain qualifications you need right on your doorstep. Our tuition fees are cheaper and our tutors are worked ready in, with industry experience that is very, very strong and will ensure that you've got the skills to make you stand out uh, and get that competitive job in the real world. So no matter what you want to study, there will always be an element, a strong element of work placement involved to build your skills and experience that employers are looking for. Tonight, we'll hear directly from students about their experience at Southwest College and how it has benefited them. John. If you have any questions throughout the talks, please feel free to leave your questions in the comments box on the right hand side and we will respond to these at the end of the presentations. Coming up, you will hear about our exciting range of courses from the three schools within the faculty. First up is our unique higher education level apprenticeships, which offer you the opportunity to study towards a third level qualification while working in your choosing industry and having the opportunity to earn while you learn. Here's my colleague, Noreen McGuir, the higher level apprenticeship program manager, to explain more. Hello everyone, my name is Noreen McGurr and I'm the Higher Level Apprenticeship Programme Manager with Southwest College. I'm going to talk to you today about the Higher Level Apprenticeship Programmes which are available at the College. Higher Level Apprenticeships are referred to as HLAs. So what is a HLA? HLAs provide you with an opportunity to gain a higher education qualification while working. The world of work in Northern Ireland continues to change and employers really uh, widely recognise that there's a real need for higher level skills in addition to the academic qualification at the higher level, hence the introduction of HLAs. So HLAs are a tripartite arrangement between three parties, the employer, the HLA as the employee, and Southwest College as the training provider. HLA can only work when all these three parties are involved. So how does the HLA work? HLA study the same foundation degree or professional level five qualification as a full-time or part-time student. The course content and assessment are the same, but the main difference is that the HLAs combine their higher education study with the on-the-job training. So as a HLA, you're an employee of the company, usually working four days a week, um, and then your employer releases you on full pay to study the required hours of the college. Now, the hours of study can vary from anything from between seven hours a week to 12 hours a week, depending on the course that you've chosen to study. In addition um, to the UCAS entry requirements for your course, there's additional eligibility criteria to study as a HLA, which I'll talk about later on. And for, and for some of the courses, the UCAS entry requirements are higher for the HLA uh, route. 
So how does studying a HLA compare with studying a part-time foundation degree? Well, you choose to study part-time um, or choose the HLA option, there are many things that are similar. Either way, you study on a part-time basis, you study the same higher education qualification, and you graduate with the same university or professional level five qualification. So for example, if you choose to do the um, part-time or HLA level five uh, mechatronic engineering course, you will graduate with an Ulster University foundation degree in mechatronic engineering. The college's track record um, of excellent results remain the same regardless of which option you choose. And the college industry qualified lecturers deliver on both these programmes. While well, there are quite a number of things that are the same for both routes, there are also a significant number of things that are very different. If you choose to go the HLA, HLA route, then you must be in employment. And as a HLA, you must be supported by your employer. And when I say supported, I mean your employer must employ you under the terms and conditions of the HLA agreement, which means they must agree to release you in full pay to study at the college for the required number of hours. So to study as a HLA, you must be in employment, which means that you're earning a salary from day one. And the salary must be at least basic minimum wage, which, which currently is around six pounds an hour uh, for an 18 year old. And this rate increases um, depending on your age. So as a HLA, you'll not be liable for any uh, college or university fees, whereas on the part time route, you'd be uh, liable for the full fees. So as I said earlier, you're an employee of the company and therefore not a student, so you will not incur any student debt. And for some options on the HLA route, not all, there are enhanced UCAS entry requirements. So, for example, the HLA in business management requires 72 UCAS points, whereas the part time route requires just uh, 64. So while all of these differences are really, really important, there's a key difference, and that is because you must be in employment from day one, you're building a uh, wealth of industry skills and knowledge that will enhance your employment opportunities and boost your earning capacity in the future. As with the, uh, all the full-time and part-time higher education routes, the HLA route is accredited by either one of our local universities or the professional accountancy body, ATI. So when you successfully complete your higher education course, you will have uh, for example, an Ulster University Foundation degree in computing or civil engineering or, or whatever subject area um, that you're studying in. So who can apply for HLA? If you're in the process of completing your level three qualifications, for example, A levels or BTEC or, or equivalent, you will need to meet the entry requirements for the chosen course. Um, and I'll talk more about these entry requirements later. Someone who has moved to a new job can also apply. Um, just as long as they don't hold a level five or higher qualification in the field that they're going to study in. And if you're an existing employee, you can also apply, but you must have a significant change in your job role. The application process is now open online and, and I would strongly recommend that you apply at this stage, even though um, you will not have your grades and in the majority of cases you will not have employment secured. It's important to apply as soon as possible um, because that means that your information will be stored in our database and you will receive all the communications from the date of your application regarding your chosen course. You will then have from the date of the application until the course starts in September, the majority will start second or third week in September, and you have not time to secure your employment. But I would point out that you can't be enrolled in the course in September, in the HLA course, until your employment is confirmed, because uh, that's essential criteria. So who, do, who does the HLA route suit? Um, this option really suits someone who wants to continue with a higher education, but prefers a more practical approach. So really someone who favours a hands-on approach instead of sitting in the classroom all day, every day. Uh, however, I, I, I really want to point out at the stage that even though the HLA is a really rewarding route and has many, many benefits, it's also a very challenging option. And it's challenging because you will be working practically full time. You will be studying at the college for the required number of hours, and then you'll be completing your assignments in your, in your own time on top of all that. So you really need to be really well organised and able to cope with the demands of work and study from day one. I mentioned earlier about the additional essential criteria uh, which you must meet in order to be study as a HLA. So as well as meeting the UCAS entry requirements, um, you must be employed in the relevant industry. So for example, if you choose to study ATI, then you must be employed in an accounting role. You must be newly appointed to the job or as I said before, have a significant change to your current job role. If you want to study as a HLA, you can't continue in the current role that you're already working on. You must have a significant change. You must be employed by a Northern Ireland based private company. So, for example, you can't be employed by the local council or, or indeed by ourselves here at the college. 
I said earlier as well that you must be paid at least basic minimum wage and you must be paid for the hours of study at the college in addition to your time at work. So, for example, if you work 28 hours on site and you study with us for 11, then you must get paid for 28 plus 11 hours, so 39 hours. You must meet all the criteria to study as a HLA. If you only meet, say, three out of the list, then you won't be eligible to enrol in this course. It's absolutely essential that you meet all the, the criteria. That there are no exceptions to it. So, so while it's a very challenging route, there are many, many benefits to choosing the HLA option. You achieve a higher level qualification while building your skills and knowledge. You receive a salary from day one and you're not liable for any fees. Now, as I said before, all these benefits are very obvious. And while you may not recognise it right now at this moment, the most important benefit of the entire HLA programme is the development of your skills and knowledge in addition to obtaining your higher level quali qualification. So this makes you very employable and increases your earning capacity in the future. So, well, and the benefits are not just for the individual who is studying, there are many benefits for the employers and that's why they really like this course. They get to train their staff to have strong technical skills that they need in their business. And it also allows them to develop their existing staff as well as their new staff. So they have a highly motivated um, and committed workforce. So this diagram gives you a, an idea of the amount of um, HLAs. So we currently offer nine HLAs um, at Southwest College, and these are over varying sectors. And you can see all the options here, um, such as civil engineering, building services, uh, sustainable energy, mechatronic engineering, manufacturing engineering, etc. Um, and I think it's really important uh, to note at this point that HLAs are not only available in the engineering and construction sector, but also in other areas such as computing, business um, and accounting. Uh, this, this graph here demonstrates the growth in HLAs. So you can see the recruitment um, increasing from 2017. Uh, there's been a marked increase there in the numbers. Um, well, there was a slight reduction of just around 22% um, in last in 2021 intake. But that was totally understandable considering the year that was in it. The HLA option is really proven to be extremely popular with both students and employers. So I would really advise you at this stage that if you're interested in the HLA option, please apply now. The application process is now available online. So if you go onto our website, there's a step by step guide there that will take you through um, the whole application process. At Southwest College, we um, continue to review our curriculum offer um, to make sure that it's, that's up to date and that it um, meets the demands of, of the local community. Uh, and with an increased interest in this option, um, we're currently working on some potential new HLA proposals for September 21. And these are all, of course, subject to funding. So potentially we could be offering four new HLAs in addition to the nine that we currently offer. Um, and these are in cybersecurity, insurance, um, advanced technician and engineering and transport and supply chain management. So please keep an eye out on our socials uh, and on our website for any um, updates on these courses. Now, we talked earlier about the tripartite arrangement um, between the three key stakeholders. So we very, very much depend um, on our local employers to make the HLA work. With the vast range of curriculum and projects available at the college, we work with numerous employers. But if we look specifically um, at the HLA programme, we currently work with over 125 Northern Ireland based private employers and these employers range from, from large companies uh, to, to one man bands. They're employers who take on HLAs every year and on a number of occasions employers have taken on multiple HLAs um, in the same year. So that sends out a very clear message that the HLA option is filling the higher level skills and knowledge gap that has been missing for such a long time. So approximately 39% of our current HLA employers are based in the Mid Ulster region uh, and roughly the same in the Fermanagh and Oma District Council area, with the remaining 22% uh, split fairly evenly over the other Northern Ireland District Council areas. So every year the Department for the Economy run uh, what's known as a Northern Ireland Apprenticeship Award, and this covers all levels of uh, apprentices, uh, but there is a particular category for the higher level apprenticeships. So this is a really um, impressive event with a, a huge number of entries from all over Northern Ireland. So basically it is brilliant. It's, it's an absolutely brilliant achievement to be shortlisted. Never mind winning a particular category in the event. So Southwest College are very proud um, to share with you that they have been very, very successful from the outset of the HLA programme. And this is testament to the wonderful opportunities that we've that have been provided by our local employers and also the excellent teaching, academic and pastoral support 
provided by both the teaching and support staff at Southwest College. To date, we've had three winners um, since the commencement of the HLA Awards, and all three of our winners have, have a really different story to tell. Emmett, who was the outright winner in 2016, uh, joined the coll college to study a foundation degree in engineering. Emmett now runs his own uh, very successful company and now currently employs two HLAs. Niall, who uh, was an existing employee with his company, and he decided he wanted to further his career, and he attended OMA campus to study the foundation degree in energy, environment and sustainability. And since obtaining his foundation degree, Niall has progressed up the career ladder a few times at his work, and he was runner up for the HLA Apprentice of the Year in 2018. And Colleen, who was our joint HLA Apprentice winner last year, joined the college to study the Gold Engineering Programme. So she would have joined the college after her GCSEs. So she studied the Gold Engineering Programme and then progressed onto the HLA Programme uh, in September 2019. And this is something many of our Gold uh, students, they come in from their, their GCSEs, they do the Gold Engineering Programme, and then they progress onto the Higher Level Apprenticeship Programme. So Colleen uh, is currently completing her final year of her foundation degree in engineering um, at Dungan campus. So uh, our higher education uh, perspectives is now available and I, I would urge you to have a good look at it and see all the higher education opportunities, in, including all the HLAs that are available right here on your doorstep at Southwest College. Please visit the website also to find out further information on the higher education opportunities available. And if you wish to find out more uh, about the HLA specific programmes, please contact me on 0845 603 or on my mobile um, 077 34 026 or alternatively you can email me at noreen.mcgurr at southwestcollege.ac.uk. Uh, so thanks very much for taking the time out to listen to me today um, and I really hope that you find something suitable to study at Southwest College from the wide range of higher education courses available. Thank you, Noreen. That was very informative. Don't forget, if you would like more information and details about our higher level apprenticeship courses, please visit our website to get full details, www.swc.ac.uk. Now, we are now going to be joined by the Head of School for Sport and Life Sciences, Dr John Moore. John will explain our range of accredited courses and pathways and employability options in this popular field. Don't forget to apply online at swc.ac.uk. Hello and welcome to this recording um, providing information about higher education opportunities in the School of Sport and Life Sciences. My name is John Moore and I'm the head of school and uh, I'm very happy to have this opportunity to tell you about uh, what is an offer in our school. First of all, um, Southwest College um, is a well-established provider of higher education and uh, there are many advantages and good reasons why uh, you should consider uh, Southwest College as your place of choice to study in higher education. We're right on your doorstep um, with the campuses in Enniskillen, Oma and Dungallon. Uh, we have a broad offer of higher education courses and work with uh, Open, Ulster and Queen's Universities and other higher education providers to bring you um, a wide range of courses. We've been at it for a long time and we have established uh, a long-standing track record of excellent student results and excellent career progression for people who have graduated from our courses. We offer excellent ac academic and pastoral support because we have a lot of subject and industry experts in each of the, our fields of study and we provide tuition in small class sizes where students and tutors get to know each other um, very quickly and get to work closely together. Our teachers all have good experience in their field and uh, in working in employment and in the local industry and uh, they bring that experience and skills to the courses and to the students. Um, the college uh, campuses have excellent facilities to support your uh, learning and your achievement in higher education. So at this stage, I'm very pleased that you are considering uh, the Southwest College and you're considering courses in sport and life sciences. Um, so you've a lot to think about right now. And what I'm hoping to do just now is to give you some more information about the specific courses and to be able to signpost you to what you need to do next 
if, and I hope you do, you want to continue uh, your, your uh, consideration and you're interested in making an application and coming to us to study. So you know what you're interested in and you're thinking about your career goals and uh, you want to find out about what entry requirements um, are required for our courses, what support is available, um, what you will be studying and what mode they will be. So first of all, I can say to you that all of our courses are easily accessible and are designed for full-time, part-time and apprenticeship mode study uh, from home and in college. We have a blended approach to teaching and learning and uh, recently obviously that has been developed and we have uh, very good facilities and support for studying from home um, as well as the practical and face-to-face -face experience that you get in studying in college with us. Our courses are available both full-time and part-time and we have where appropriate and possible we have higher level apprenticeship um, engagement as well where you can study uh, while you work and earn while you learn. We offer higher education courses, um, higher national certificate and diploma, foundation degree and bachelor's and honours degrees as well in our subject areas. Um, there's a range of, uh, as I said, full-time and part-time engagement. Um, most of our courses are of a duration of one to two years full-time and up to three years part-time. It depends on the mode of study and uh, our prospectus and our further course information will give you the details for each of the specific courses. Um, we have a range of fees uh, that the courses cost, and that depends again on the course and the mode of study. But in general, our fees are somewhat less than other providers and less than the cost of studying at university. So what are the courses in Sport and Life Sciences? Well, um, there are some PowerPoint slides that you're able to download and access, which give you all of this information. Um, but to outline, um, in science, first of all, there are a range of courses on offer in each of the three campuses. You can study environmental science, specifically energy, environment and sustainability, foundation degree and bachelor's degree, depending on um, your entrance qualifications and uh, your, your mode of study and where you want to enter the course from. These courses are accredited by the Queen's University and they can lead on to further study uh, at Queen's or directly into employment um, in the renewable, sustainable and environmental management sectors. Uh, we have um, a foundation degree in applied medical sciences um, accredited by Ulster University and this course leads on to uh, applied science um, and uh, medical and uh, healthcare studies and uh, working in those sectors. There's also a level four higher national certificate and higher national diploma in applied sciences, specifically applied biology, which primarily leads to further study and uh, careers in the healthcare um, and medical sectors as well. In sport, we have um, foundation degree and bachelor's honours degrees in sport and exercise science. These are available at all of our campuses and uh, are accredited by the Open University. And uh, our graduates from these courses will continue on to further study or to work in uh, fitness instructing, uh, gym management, leisure facilities management, um, education and training in uh, sport and exercise. Um, we also have part-time provision for fitness instructors and personal trainers active IQ level four certificate and strength and conditioning. So there's a wide range of courses at higher education in both sport and science. And as I say, you can find out more details by coming back to me. I'm going to signpost you to the course tutors. And uh, also you will find these, this information on the Southwest College website and in the higher education prospectus. So those are the courses. I just want to tell you a little bit about um, what to expect if you come to the college, um, what studying at the college would be like, and what resources and support we have available for you. So questions like, how will you be taught? Well, first of all, it's as flexible as, as possible, and it's important to us that it is flexible. Our curriculum is accredited by the relative universities and higher education providers, but it is taught and assessed um, exclusively by our own tutors at the Southwest College. 
you will be taught by subject experts who have the relevant qualifications and academic and industry experience, and they bring that to their teaching. Our courses are intentionally as practical and work-based and work-relevant as possible. This is important to us, um, and you will experience and find out about uh, the world of work in your chosen sector, and you will be gaining the work-based skills and qualifications and experience that you need. That includes work placements where appropriate. The courses are modular and there's a wide variety of modules and subjects that are studied. As I've said, the approach is by necessity, and uh, it's important that you, you pick up all of the, the, the um, online um, and remote learnings and working skills as well. So we have a blended teaching and learning mode of delivery. So you will be expected to and will be able to work from home in your own time as well as attending college classes. So our modes of delivery, full-time, part-time apprenticeship are flexible and are blended. As are our assessment methods. Your modules are assessed as you go through the course and it is by a variety of assessments. So you will have the opportunity to uh, do presentations, uh, present reports, and there are various um, written and uh, take home exams as well that uh, are part of the assessments. So it's very broad range and uh, the assessments are closely linked to your experience and learning. All of our courses have excellent progression opportunities. And I'm going to very briefly refer to what some of our past students are doing now and what the progression opportunities for the different courses are. I made mention of work experience. And uh, students that are working with us will find that work experience is an integral part of the course. They're introduced to employers. They have the opportunity to carry out placements and to apply and develop the experience and skills that they're learning in their course in their workplace. This is done in a supported way with workplace mentors. And the intention is that transferable and professional skills are developed. Um, our learners get to um, engage with the potential employers and quite often through their course actually get employment after they graduate and that starts them um, on their uh, their career journey and the, 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 uh, their work and career development uh, takes on from there. So there are good opportunities for work experience and it's done in a supportive and structured way. We have um, a, a lot of non-teaching and teaching support resources uh, to help our students through their programme, to help them study and to help them develop their skills and to help them prepare for their assessments. The excellent learning resource centre and li library facilities, including um, a drop-in library um, with all of the um, reading resources and online resources and computer access that is required. Um, and things such as uh, internet access and Wi-Fi and printing and photocopying and all the sorts of things that you would expect in an institution of higher education, we have them in all of our campuses. Um, also, we have uh, support and, and uh, academic mentoring um, staff that are available to work with our students and learners to help them access the online resources and to help them develop the report writing and research skills and, and study skills and so on. So there's a very well-developed wraparound support for our learners that we would encourage everyone to get involved with and take advantage of. And student services also provide individual and group uh, pastoral support um, and, and guide, uh, information and guidance right the way through from admission to graduation and uh, career opportunities and progression and, and work placements and so on. So I hope at this stage you, you've uh, uh, got the, under, the understanding is there's a lot on offer here that uh, is available for you uh, to take you right the way through from um, inquiry and application to enrolment and induction, through studying the course, finding out as much about the work opportunities and developing your own uh, career pathway and graduating and then um, career development post-graduation. And another consideration of course is how much does it cost and how do I finance? We have a student finance centre which will take you through 
the um, opportunities and resources for grant support, um, for setting up student loans, and for accessing um, financial support to enable you to study. And uh, that can be uh, uh, found out about as well once you make your application. And at this stage, I'm hoping you're thinking, well, how do I apply? And we've made application as easy as possible. Initially, what you need to do is go onto the college website, www.swc.ac.uk, and go to the higher education uh, tile on the website. And from there, you can be directed to information about the courses you're interested in. And you can initiate your application by clicking on the apply now and start an application for your course. So that's the first thing that you need to do. You can apply for one or more courses at any time. And it is up to you thereafter because that does not commit you to anything. But it is important that you express your interest early on because there is strong competition for places on most of our higher education courses. So the earlier you start, you initiate an application, the, early, the, the, the better your chances are of securing a place. We have a very um, varied and again, flexible requirement for uh, entry qualifications. So you will be coming to us with your um, school or college qualifications. Um, and we are in a position to um, assess your experiential learning through the workplace or through non-qualifications based experience. So at this stage, I would say if you're interested in finding out, out about a course, look at the specific course um, details and talk to us about the experience and qualifications that you have, because there is a wide variety of backgrounds that we take our students from. So um, there are as few barriers as possible to entrance. So very briefly, I just want to, uh, before I finish off here, mention uh, some of our past graduates and where they are now. Um, and there, there's, there's quite a range, as I say. In sport and exercise, I would refer to Matthew, who graduated this year with uh, the BSc Honours in Sport and Exercise, and is now enrolled on a PGCE course um, to enter education and become a sports and exercise uh, tutor. Many of our foundation degree and bachelor's uh, sports and exercise graduates enter uh, the fitness um, training uh, industry as fitness instructors, personal trainers, and work in gym management and leisure facilities. We also have some sportsmen of repute, and uh, one of our recent graduates is playing for Glentoran Football Club. And I do note that um, our uh, sport and exercise students at uh, an All-Ireland level are, are winning in uh, Gaelic football and soccer football um, are, are bringing home the silver here to Southwest College. So the standard is very high. In energy, environment and sustainability, um, a past graduate, Ryan, has completed his PhD at Queen's and is now working as a postgraduate researcher. Um, Dominic, Greg and Tanya graduated in energy, environment and sustainability in June there, all got first class honours degrees and are working in the renewable energy industry. In applied biology, um, a past uh, graduate, Amy, for the Higher National Certificate, is now studying to be a vet. And graduates of the Higher National Certificate of Applied Biology, Rebecca, Ryan, Cormac and Rory, are now training in the healthcare sector uh, in areas as diverse as podiatry, midwifery, nursing and physiotherapy. In the Foundation Degree in Applied Medical Science, um, we have Lucy, who recently graduated with distinction, took her first class degree in stratified medicine from Ulster University, and is currently studying for her PhD at Ulster. So there's a wide range there, and there is are good and strong and well-developed progression opportunities for our graduates. So the opportunities are there. And really just to finish off, I would say to you, do look at our higher education prospectus, which is now available online on the www.swc.ac.uk website. And uh, do by all means directly contact us. Um, you'll find me, I'm John Moore. I've, I've put my details up, my email and direct line. 
if you want to talk to me about any of the opportunities uh, in sport and life science. And uh, the course directors and the course coordinators would be very happy to give you further information. Jane looks after sport and exercise. Mark looks after energy, environment and sustainability. We have Ruth for the Applied Biology at CNC and Tom uh, for Applied and Medical Science Foundation degree. And all of their contact details are there. So thank you for listening to this uh, information recording. I hope you find it useful and I hope that it does encourage you to find out more and make an application um, for courses in higher education, sport and life science. Uh, if you want any more information, do get back to us. And I do hope to see you joining us in September to continue your higher education journey. Um, wherever that takes you, I do wish you every success. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, John. Now, ever wondered about student life in South, at Southwest College? Well, here's a sneak peek video of our world-class campuses which showcase the very latest industry standard technology and learning spaces. Let's take a look. built environment. Next up is our Head of School, Stephen Moss, to explain our programme of courses available. Remember to apply online. Visit our website at swc.ac.uk for full course details. Stephen. Hello everybody, you're very welcome to our uh, open day for the School of the Natural and Built Environment, um, which sits within the Faculty of the Built Environment, Creative and Life Sciences. Um, my name is Stephen Moss and I'm the head of school for Natural and Built Environment. And um, just very quickly, I'm going to run through some of the team that we have within the school and the people that you may be dealing with should you wish to come and study a higher education program with us. Um, as I said, I'm Stephen Moss, I'm the head of school. I'm the course director for the Construction Engineering and Management top up course. I'm also course director for the uh, foundation degree in construction engineering and surveying at the Enniskillen campus. We have Danielle McKelvey, who is the deputy head of school and the course director um, for the foundation degree in civil engineering. We have John McTaggart, who is the head of school or deputy head of school, sorry, for natural environment as well. We have Ashley McKellen and Richard Dugan, both course directors for the construction engineering with surveying at the OMA and Dungannon campuses respectively. And we have Vanessa O'Keefe, again, a deputy head of school within the college and the course director for our foundation degree and our VNG honors top up in the building services with sustainable energy program. And we have Imelda Haran, who is our course director for the foundation degree and the VNG honors top up in transport and supply chain management. And all of us are supported by both Linda Clark, our curriculum support officer and William Young, our industrial liaison officer all people that you may come in contact with uh, should you come on board with us. So moving on, why should you study at Southwest College um, within our school? Well, you know, in a general sense, the college is an excellent uh, place and close to home. It is, you know, a fantastic opportunity on your doorstep. It leaves you with less debt um, whenever you come out uh, at the other end of your studies. 
The track, track record um, is excellent in terms of results from our programs. We have industrially uh, qualified lecturers, all coming from industrial backgrounds. There are small class sizes, which are a massive opportunity for you to engage with lecturers uh, on a one to one basis more often. Um, we have fantastic facilities. There are world class technologies and equipment that are available to you, and we are continuously updating those all the time. And we have excellent learning resource centers again to help support your studies. Now, some of the things that you might need to think about at this point in time, um, and, and it's best to get those at an early stage, you know, obviously, where are your interests and where do you see yourself working in the future and within which industry? Obviously, I'm hoping that it's within the construction industry, but there are a number of streams there that you can follow. And as I say, there are civil engineering, there is the transport and supply chain management, there is the construction engineering and management, um, there is the building services, civil engineering. There's just a host of areas that you might be able to choose from. Um, so you've got to set your goals and where you wish to get to. Now, you also need to consider, do you wish to study on a full time basis and get through the program um, as quickly as possible? Are you looking at maybe part time or part time accelerated, which is a little bit quicker? And also we have the higher level apprenticeship opportunities, which allows you to actually sort of engage and work as an employee with a local employer and study on a part time basis at the same time. So there are so many opportunities and flexibility in relation to, you know, how the courses are offered and run. So what courses do we offer at Southwest College? We have all the way from, you know, higher national certificates and diplomas at level four and five through foundation degrees at level five, bachelor degrees and top ups and, you know, and honors degrees all up to level six. So there is such an opportunity in terms of that progression and pathway and a student journey for you to follow right the way from level four all the way up through to level six. We work with a number of validating partners in terms of our local uh, universities and um, we work very closely with the Open University and with Ulster University within our school and the college works very closely with Queen's University Belfast as well. So in terms of entry criteria, um, there are so many courses that we offer in a higher education plane within our school, within the built environment that it just there's too much information to try and pass on to you. So what I'm suggesting is that if you're interested in a program within the college and within the construction area, to go on to our website, you can see www.swc.ac.uk, click apply, select full or part time and select the course that you wish to get more full information on. Everything that you need to know will be there. Entry criteria in terms of UCAS uh, points requirements, and um, math English requirements, etc. It will also tell you, you know, a whole aspect or, or load of information in relation to the content of the course, how it is uh, going to be delivered, assessed, etc. And, you know, there's every possible bit of information that you might want to know. Also, there'll be information there in terms of the admissions process after you've actually made an application. What is the process and procedure from there on? Now, down to the nitty gritty of it for us, what courses are on offer within the School of the Natural and Environment within Southwest College? And going from sort of left and feeding down, we have the Open University BSc Honours Construction, Engineering and Management top up degree. Um, you must come on to that with a foundation degree or a higher national diploma or equivalent course already com successfully completed. We also offer for people coming directly through from level three, be it A level, B tech or other equivalent, um, Ulster University Foundation degree in civil and environmental engineering. That is run and offered on both a full time and a part time basis and is offered, as you can see, as a higher level apprenticeship as well. We also then offer the Ulster University Foundation degree in construction engineering with surveying. And again, it is offered full time, part time, and as a higher level apprenticeship um, opportunity as well. Should you have already an employer or should you wish um, for us to maybe try and help you secure an employer to be able to carry that out? Moving on over to the right hand side and up at the top again, we have our Open University BSc Honours top up in building services and sustainable energy. 
And that also is offered both at a foundation degree level, full time, part time and as a higher level apprenticeship. We also just very recently and very excited about offering a foundation degree and a BSE honours top up in transport and supply chain management. And again, that's a new course that we have engaged with the Open University to put in place. And it certainly is something that we see as a growth area, particularly considering where uh, Brexit has taken the whole transport and supply chain management industry to. We also offer a few shorter courses um, at our higher level education, um, and those are in Passive House Designer. Again, um, I'm, I'm sure most are, are aware in terms of the Passive House standards, in terms of sustainable uh, construction and the you know, energy uh, saving aspects um, that come with that course. We also offer the NOCN level four in BIM slash Revit. And that gives people the opportunity to come on board and study and learn how to use the Autodesk Revit software in relation to building information modeling. So in terms of teaching and assessment, in terms of the majority of our programs, um, you know, what does that entail? You know, how will you be taught? What is the module content? How many contact errors will you have? What methods will be used um, to assess you? Well, Every program is subtly different. And as I say, if you go onto the website, like, like I explained earlier, pick the different courses, go in, you will get that detail um, uh, readily available to you and you will see exactly what the module content is. You will exactly um, how the methods of assessment are, are placed. And as I say, there is a mixture in terms of the delivery, in terms of face-to-face -face teaching, be that remote or within the classroom, um, considering uh, circumstances at the moment. And we also then have tutorials, workshops, practical aspects as well, all built into the uh, the courses. And each one subtly different because of obviously the differentials that are built into those courses. In terms of our teaching teams, as I mentioned earlier, all with industrial experience, all qualified to degree, master's degree or PhD doctorate level. Um, we have a fantastic teaching team. And um, anybody that comes through the course will uh, testify to that. They are obviously as well well equipped in terms of handling issues or problems that you might have. They are more than friendly and approachable for any given uh, particular problem that you might actually face throughout your program. Um, as I said, we are constantly updating our equipment and our resources, and we certainly have everything that is up to industry standard at the moment. And everything that we actually deliver and work uh, to send you out with in terms of your, your skills and your knowledge is all employment and employer related. So again, teaching and assessment, we are working um, with foundation degrees on 12 week placements that is built into your program. And uh, so you get an opportunity to go out to an employer for 12 weeks and that is vital at that level. Um, everything is subject specific uh, in relation to your program. Um, we do our best, obviously, to prepare you for the workplace. Um, we have real life projects that we work on with employers. Um, we obviously set out to develop the professional skills and the personal skills that you're going to require and that employers are looking for. And you can see there just down below just some of the companies. And this is only a few. Um, the likes of Hatchison and Glover, um, QMAC, Woodville, Tracy's. Uh, you know, there are just so many employers, Farrens, the housing executive that we work with, and that is just a few to mention. Our learning resource centres are fantastically equipped and they have uh, people in there who are always willing to sort of help and support you in relation to your studies outside of the classroom. Um, you know, there's an academic library um, that's related to all programs and will be related to your construction program. Um, there's a computer suite there that is equipped again with all of the range of software that you may require to be able to actually produce work for the program. There's high speed internet access and Wi-Fi. You can print photocopy scanning, all the normal things that you would expect there. But what I would say is that the support in relation to um, your just your general studies and in relation to the actual sort of library facilities, um, the people involved are second to none. 
Now, student service is a vital um, aspect to the college, and we have a fantastic team on every campus in relation to student services folks. Um, you know, they're there for advice and guidance on admissions, finance, careers, um, any learning support that you might need, childcare, you know, health and well-being, counselling, everything is involved there with student services and the team are again uh, a fantastic asset to the college and a fantastic asset to the students that uh, join us and you will find that any question asked will certainly be given a, a proper answer and help provide it. Now in terms of student finance, studying in a HE programme at Southwest College is no different than studying a HE programme at any other college or university in the UK. Um, all of the same financial supports are available there to our, our students. Now in relation to full-time students in particular, there's the opportunity to go through studentfinance.co.uk um, and you will get loads of information on there in terms of what finance opportunities there are there from, for you, from loans to grants to allowances, etc. And also there's opportunity within the college as well to apply um, for hardship funds, for bursaries and for scholarships. And we within the School of the Natural and Built Environment are extremely lucky to have quite a number of companies who support a lot of students um, every year in terms of uh, financial aid. And you just have to make an application and uh, see how that goes uh, with them. But again, loads of opportunity um, to help you finance your programme. Now, straight away, I want to draw your attention that our higher education prospectus is now available and you can get that on our website and on site. You will actually then be able to go in there and peruse at your leisure, look at all the different courses and the opportunities that are there within the higher education within the college. But obviously I would direct you to go and look at what's available in the National Island Bearing School. So again, just a reminder folks, all of the information that you might need and require is on our website www.swc.ac.uk and you go in there and you can click on that apply it will bring you into the opportunity to look at a list of, of the course contents uh, that are there the different courses select a course that you feel that you're interested in or courses and do your research and see what it entails so i would direct you to that in the first instance when you've gone in there and you have looked at the different courses and you've come up with the course that you believe is the one for you and you want more information or a bit more direction, then here are the contact details for the people that you might want to speak to. So for the BSc Honours Construction Engineering and Management top up, that will be myself and my email address is stephen.moss at swc.ac.uk. For the foundation degree level within construction engineering with surveying, then if it's Dungannon campus, it's Richard Dugan. If it's in a Skillen, it's myself. And if it's Oma, it's Ashley McCallum. And again, all of their email addresses are there. And all of those email addresses will be attached to the course uh, content and information on the website anyway. In terms of civil engineering, then Danielle McKelvey and Paul McCusker are the people that you may want to contact and get information from. For the building services with sustainable energy, um, it's Vanessa O'Keefe. And Vanessa can be contacted there on vanessa.cobain at swc.ac.uk. For tr transport and supply chain management, then email Linda Clark, and Linda will be able to um, give you all the information um, that you may possibly need there. So, again, for more information and support, as I say, visit the website, um, have a look at the information that, uh, you know, that's there particularly within the Natural Built Environment School. Select the course that you feel is the right one for you and then please either apply or get in contact directly with any of the people that I have mentioned. And we are more than willing and uh, will be delighted to help you and support you in any way possible um, that, that we can. So thank you very much for listening and hopefully we will see you come on board with us for a Hitchy course in our school next year. Thanks Stephen, now it's time to find out about the Southwest College student experience and we now go and talk to a few students about campus life. Uh, my name is Joseph Doyle, I am 18 years of age and I am currently studying at Southwest College in Dungannon. 
At the moment, I am currently studying it's a foundation degree with Ulster University in Science and Computing. It's a three-year course as I have got myself a scholarship in IT, so I get my full degree in for. And um, the college, I believe, you know, it's probably the best place to study at the moment. I'm not traveling anywhere. I'm in the comfort of my own home. I have everything that I need at home. And anything that I don't have, the teachers are more than willing to help out trying to get source and get stuff, you know, for whatever you need. And they're more than willing to help that way. I'm not traveling to Belfast every day or to Derry or anywhere, you know, a university. I'm not sitting in a lecture hall with 300 people. Uh, I'm in an online class asking teacher questions and they're more than willing to jump into a one-to-one -one group and explain everything with me and anything that I need you know they're they're there to help and um, so that's I believe that the college is more beneficial than a university in a sense that online classes they're smaller so you have more time with the teacher and you're not sitting with 100 200 300 other people and, and so you're not you're not afraid to ask a question and be judged because nobody judges you in college they don't because more than likely if you have a question there's and other people that have that same question and they you know everybody's going to get help if you ask it or if they ask it you're going to find a way to help each other now we're going to join claire fiddleman head of school for creative arts to find out more about the exciting range of higher education degree programs available within her school Hello, I'm Claire Fiddeman. I'm Head of School for the Creative Arts at Southwest College and I'd like to welcome you all to our HE Open Evening event. The School of Creative Arts is an eclectic mix of courses, provision and subject areas such as art and design, community provision, ESOL, essential skills, modern languages, Confucius, creative media production, games design and of course the performing arts. Such a range of provision across these areas areas means that we ourselves the teaching team have a huge amount of industrial experience and academic teaching experience our lecturers have operated as graphic designers they are professional current fine artists they and have enjoyed time working within journalism print media industries film tv and theater both on stage and behind the scenes and we all work closely together using our industrial links to ensure that you, the student joining us on any of our programmes, enjoys the best education experience that we can provide you. We also like to use our industrial links and our friends whenever we can, which means you get to enjoy guest speakers as we go along. So why study at Southwest College? Firstly, it's close to home. I know everybody's in a big rush to get out and enjoy the big wide world, but that comes with expenses. It comes with having to find new places to live and it comes with uncertainty. So why not stay at home while you make your decision about where to go with the future? It's less debt, it's cheaper, cheaper fees, no living costs, no living arrangements, unless your parents make you pay rent, of course. Uh, and you are subject and can participate on courses that are certified by leading university partners such as the Open University, Ulster University and Queen's University Belfast. We have an excellent track re record of results with many of our students achieving distinctions across the programme, which is for those who aren't familiar with the system, the equivalent of a first. We have, as I have sort of said before, industrial qualified expert experienced teachers who can bring their industrial knowledge into the classroom and into your lectures so that you get a full understanding of what is expected when you join industry. We have smaller class sizes. Uh, our students sort of enjoy class sizes of between 10 and 15 people and then our seminars and tutorials would go into smaller groups again. So rather than being one of 150 people within a lecture theatre, you're one of 15 in a small classroom that gives really good uh, classroom and student staff dynamics. We have excellent academic and pastoral support. You will all have your own personal tutor. You will all have one to one relationships with your module tutors, but we also have student services and HE academic mentors on hand to help you with all your uh, studies and 
external needs as well so it's not just struggling with your coursework it's everything we encompass everything we're like a wraparound support group to get you through your pro your projects and your courses we have flexible learning opportunities you can do full-time part-time some distance learning some face-to-face -face. Uh, if you start something you can defer and, and move on so don't panic but just discuss all the options with us we are approachable friendly people we have work experience as part of our HE programmes with leading local employers and you get the opportunity to work on real life bespoke uh, projects for people within industry, for independent bodies, for bands if you want to make music videos and so on. You just need to discuss your ideas and thoughts with us and we'll find you the client that matches your needs and requirements. Now, creative arts. We wouldn't be a proper creative arts program without world class leading technology, software and hardware. We are delighted and extremely proud and boastful to say we have the STEM Centre in Dungannon, the Idea Centre in Oma and the Image Centre in Enniskillen. We also have the new end campus that will have extensive resources and up to the date modern uh, technology that you get to use. What you need to use in industry is what you use in our classrooms. And we have excellent learning resource centres. When I was at uni, we would have called these the libraries, but now they have the technology in them as well as the books uh, and the ebooks and the support with your digital learning. You have computer access, you have facilities to record presentations, and you have all the software available in the LRCs that you'd need in the classrooms. So, how will you study? We have the full time pathways as we're a creative subject. Our classes are largely face to face. However, we do have elements of blended learning that require you to meet us online in classrooms and such as this. Get to listen to us chat. No pre recordings, live teaching as you go on. Uh, your full time options if you're doing the foundation degree and the BA honours top ups would be three days over semester one and three days over semester two where you undertake three modules per semester and if you're doing a HND that would be four units over semester one and four in semester two. You can have part-time courses as well that means that you can adopt the full-time modules but over two or three years depending on which pathway you take so a general part-time HE qualification would take three years uh, and you would do two modules a semester unless you take the part time accelerated, which would we have a summer term incorporated into that project and um, program? Sorry, that means you study over the summer and you still complete over the two years. We also have higher level apprenticeships options, uh, which my colleagues will discuss in different uh, web webinars and, and broadcasts for you. Uh, but basically that is the work and study at the same time so that your uh, your HE programme and pathway becomes part of your daily work as an apprenticeship. So what do we offer? We offer the BA honours uh, and BSc honours in uh, bachelor's degree, so that's like the level six qualifications. They are three to four years full time and four to five years part time, but many of our programmes within the creative arts are a uh, a top up program so you would continue your learning from your HE level four five which is your foundation degree or HND and do a one year top up so it gives you the opportunity to full time add what you've already learned and achieve a BA honours. The tuition fees for this option is 4530 a year and part time you would pay 295 per module. You apply directly to us not through UCAS uh, so a bit further on I'll take you through the process. We also have our foundation degrees these within the creative arts are validated by the Open University and these are a level five qualifications the first two years of university and they again are made up of two semester programs where you, you study three different units in each semester and then after two years you have your foundation degree. You would then go from here on to our one year level six top up. So the fees for this are remarkably cheaper than going elsewhere. They're 2600 per year and if you wanted the part time uh, 
option, it's 250 per module. However, the part time accelerated fees are slightly different. So please take note of the points below and always check our website and don't be afraid to give us a shout if you have any questions. Then slightly different at the Pearson BTEC level four and level five HNC and HND qualifications. We offer these predominantly in our art and design and performing arts areas and these again are vocational qualifications very practical but similar to the foundation degree. They consist of eight units across two years if you are going for the full time option. It's one year for a HNC and then you top up to a HND in year two and again similarly we can also offer part time options which take two and three years depending. Again, the cost of these are full time 1450 per year and part time 610. So our partners, as I have said, were Open University, Ulster University and Queen's University back Belfast. Ourselves uh, here in the Creative Arts Department have the Open University BA Honours top up in visual media arts or the foundation degree in visual media arts. Both of our qualifications have pathways in film and games. So how do you get on to these qualifications? Well, you to get on to the foundation degree, the starting point, the HNC or the HND, we would ask that you have a minimum of five GCSEs, grades A to C, including English and maths or the equivalent. OK, so please don't panic if you don't have the GCSE, but come and see us and chat if you have the essential skills level two. Uh, a UCAS Terrace score of 40 or above from level three qualifications. There's a full list on our website for you to go and check for the visual media arts specifically. But in general, this would be from two A levels, grades A to E or some Pearson national level three qualifications such as a diploma, extended diploma, subsidiary diploma, that kind of thing. And of course, we have also ensured that our entry requirements are suitable for those people who graduate school with the Irish Leaving Certificate. We would look for a combination of ordinary and higher levels, but again, as I have said, please do come and talk to us because we do treat everybody differently, especially because of the highly creative nature of our courses, a portfolio experience and creative flair. Uh, we would also have auditions and performances for our performance based qualifications. So please don't be put off. Always contact us because a lot will go on interview and performance or practical portfolios. The BA Honours Level 6 top up requires again English and Maths at GCSE or the equivalent and the successful completion of a foundation degree or HND uh, qualification in a relevant media, film, art or uh, similar design project uh, course, sorry, qualification that matches across to what we would have had in our foundation degrees uh, and has produced a similar portfolio will give you entry to the level six top up, which is the one year qualification. Again, with this consideration will be given to portfolios and uh, accredited prior learning, but all this information is available on our website when you search visual media arts or HND performing arts and art and design. We also allow direct entry into second year of our level five foundation degree. So just to keep that in mind, it's also important to know that in the event of over subscription entry criteria will be tweaked and enhanced but we will let you know and we will go through that with you. So what do we offer within creative arts? The Open University top up, BA Honours, Visual Media Arts and Pathway Film and Games, the one year programme. We have the Open University Foundation degree, Visual Media Arts, again, Film and Games. Uh, on both of these programmes, you will go through experimental film, documentary film, pre-production, post-production, write script writing, writing narrative, 3D modelling, lighting and rendering for games, uh, photography, animation, all those kind of stuff. We have a mix of compulsory and optional units depending on your pathway and subject to demand. We have the HNC, HND and Performing Arts but based largely in Kirkstown campus but also available if numbers allow in Enniskillen campus. Uh, and we have the Arts uh, 
roots of graphic design and which has elements of graphic design and photography in it two year program and the arts practice which is like a fine arts foundation to grow because of our subject as you can imagine all of our uh, projects all of our programs i should say are 100 percent coursework based they're all very very portfolio practical projects focus to give you the skills and qualities and uh, confidence to embark on a creative thought process that gives you practical outcomes that meet the needs of the client's brief. So for teaching, it will be lectures, seminars, workshops, studio time, guest lectures, conferences. Uh, we give competitions. Uh, that's what we will tie in your assignments with competitions. We'll put you out there into industry. Uh, we will give you written reports, audio visual commentaries, presentations, performances, exhibitions, live projects and work based learnings are all used used to assess your ability and your development as a creative individual. Teaching and assessment, uh, we, as I've sort of said, there is a 12 week placement uh, for the work based learning in the foundation degree and where relevant on the other uh, HNCs and HNDs, there may or may not be a work placement. Uh, so you would go into the industry and it would be working within the creative arts. Everything that we do is subject specific. You won't do anything in our lectures or classrooms or assessments that you won't be doing or won't be using those skills at industry level. So everything that we do prepares you for your move into industry. So it's very industry focused and very industry facing. We have dedicated mentors, both for placement, for project manager and just for your academic uh, standing to help you with your assignments and your course writing. And again, as I sort of touched upon real life projects, we'll either pair you with a client for your work based learning or just for any of your other units, we may have an external client come in and set you a brief that you have to produce an outcome for. So we really we really place emphasis on having to do work and deliver outcomes for real people so that you get used to working in a creative environment to deadlines because it's very important as creative types can just airy fairy around as much as we want. So we have to give you the skills to equip you for working in industry. We like to hook you up with competitions so that you get the opportunity to showcase your work to uh, the masses and to go up against people to learn, you know, and also to be recognised and accredited and rewarded for the work that you've done because we can make things in our own bubbles and we can take part in performances and think, well, we thought that was OK, but you know, sometimes you just need a judge to tell you that it was actually tip top. All of this builds to give you the 21st century skills that you need to develop your personal skills, your professional skills, your creative skills, your technical skills and to give you the confidence to sell yourself. For example, we have a networking and portfolio uh, exhibition event as the final part of the level six top up. And that is so that you have to network and sell yourself and show everybody what it is that you have done and who you are and what your brand is and what you're going to be able to bring so that you can then get used to doing that and putting yourself out there in industry. So how do you do this? How do you get in touch? How do you find out more information? Well, you go to www.swc.ac.uk and you can click on search and type in what you want. So even if you type in art, it'll come up with performing arts, visual media arts, everything. You can just click on the higher education link. It'll take you directly to everything that we have to offer. And you just simply pick your course that you're interested in, add it to your basket and then that will be fill in the application form and we will get that on our end. 
every single course person, course director, every single contact that we have is all listed under each uh, program and each pathway. So don't be afraid just to contact that person or myself individually for more information. As you can tell, creative arts is a huge spectrum of qualifications and every single one of those has six to eight modules in every single year. So to go through each of the content, you're probably better off if you have specific questions or inquiries to go through our website and contact the individuals or myself and I will get you the information and we will do our best to ensure that all your questions are answered and you're fully clear on what it is that you will be embarking on. Again, we have the learning resource centres. Uh, we have the libraries, computer suites. You get your student ID cards. Very important, very important, just even for the discounts. Let's be honest, uh, how there are perks to being a student and part of that is 10 to 15 to 20% off when you're shopping. Uh, you can have individual study spaces or a group space. We have pods that you can work in and chat and, you know, work with your friends on, on group work and group projects and team and just bounce ideas off and just support each other with your study skills. You book computers online so that you don't have to worry that you're going to get to the library and find that there's no no machine there for you to work off so you're allowed to book a computer online so ahead of time we have pcs and macs in our uh, lrcs in order to uh, enable you creative students to use both platforms uh, and continue with your work outside of college uh, we have workshops in referencing as well as the main program she's is telling you you'll get a professional support in the LRCs and plagiarism, copywriting, digital skills, all that kind of stuff will all be delivered through our LRCs. So the support you get within the classroom is then uh, mirrored outside the classroom with our student services and our learning re resource centres. Student servicing services are there to give you the advice and guidance that you need to happily progress throughout your career as a Southwest College student. They will help you with admissions, get you enrolled. They will help you with your student finance. So you will have to go to Student Finance NI in order to apply for your student grants and loans. But if there's any issues, just give us a shout. We can help you with all of those things. We have learning support through our student services and it's excellent. Our teams work so closely together. So if you find that you need support with proofreading and uh, dyslexia or any other additional learning needs, student services will get you assessed and get you set up so that you have the in-classroom or outside of classroom support that you need and additional time is all noted. They can help you with childcare, they will give you an induction to the college and they have excellent health and wellbeing programmes for all our students and our staff included, which will help you, you know, sort of manage your stress levels, manage any concerns and keep you a part of the healthy student body that we pride ourselves on. We have on-site counselling one-to-one, -one, completely confidential, and we have health clinics, but most importantly, we have the student voice, and that's where you have to take responsibility and get involved with our student services, and with our student union, to, to make sure that your voice is heard as a student body. So student finance is available to full-time and part-time students. You can get the fee loan, the maintenance loan, the maintenance grant, social support grants, parents, the learning allowance, carers grant, the list is there and you apply to the student loan company, you select the course that you're applying for and you're hoping to go for and then that will link you in and so when you come to us in September your fees will be transferred to us and you will get your grant payments and it's very smooth and seamless. We also have a hardship fund for anybody who is struggling, so don't feel that because you've got a grant or something, if you need to buy equipment or, you know, you are just finding something impacting on your ability to continue as a student, please do contact Student Services and our own internal student finance team. We have bursaries and we have scholarships and all this information can be found on our college website, but also for the main part of the student finance, it's student finance. Uh, .co.uk and the form is online and it's just a matter of going in, taking the time and, and completing it. But once that's done, it's pretty simple. So 
creative arts, what can you go on to do? Well, I spend my time trying to highlight to people that while we may not be building bridges or roads, we are designing cars, we are designing sofas, we are what you listen to on the radio, we're what you're looking at now, and we are what you watch and beyond, you know? So don't think that there's no careers in the creative arts. There's hundreds of careers. And we're so proud of our students. We have so many links with our ex-students, even if they've left us after level three and gone off to some a different university, or as we have here, people who have stayed with us, studied a foundation degree with us, gone off to uh, work in a job and then come back to us to study for their BA honours. So we have people who've gone on within the games industry, within the print media industry, within TV and film, and within event management and youth work, you know, so you can bring in your creative arts for art therapy and things like that. So, you know, there's extensive careers and pathways for anybody who wants to do it. And Northern Ireland is a hub of creativity. I'm very, very proud to be able to say that we have links with NI Screens and Games NI and all local media industries. So do you know don't don't be put off don't let people tell you that you can't do what you need to do so the higher education prospectus is now available on our website so please please log on and go through the uh, the different courses and look at all your options and if you have any issues at all just please contact us this is everybody that you need to know for art and design if you contact davis Fox or Trish Patricia Fox. For visual media arts, we have Kevin Mulvane, Larry Lowe and Paul McGovern. And for performing arts, Rachel Logan Fee in Cookstown. Or Ian Blackford, I can put you in touch with him for Ennis Gillen. And then of course there's me at the bottom, started and finished, Claire Fiddeman at Southwest College uh, AC.UK. Head of school, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Claire. Now we're going to hear from our student engagement and support manager, Sharon Pritchard, to find out what student services and support is available to our students to help them get the very most of their time with us and teach uh, their full potential. Student finance is really important for any young person entering the further or higher education. If you're considering a level three programme, then you are eligible to apply for the educational maintenance allowance. This is a means tested government benefit for any young person over the age of 16 to attend college. And you can apply for that directly with EMA um, and we will have that information for you and we'll be able to give that to you via um, their email address. You can also apply for the education and uh, further education grant as well. You can, you know, if you live three miles outside of the college, you'll also be able to receive your bus pass. We still operate free school meals. We also internally have what's called the hardship fund. And again, that is um, an allocation of money given to us by the government in order to support students to remove barriers that some of them face when coming into education. So again, all of that information is currently up on our website with who to contact and where to go in terms of application forms. If you're moving into higher education, the finance system is structured slightly differently. It is a loans um, system. Each of the higher education course have uh, fees attached to them as they would at university. And again, we have all of that information up on our website and we also have dedicated staff who will be able to take you through the application process and also to give you information as to what stage your application is at as well. So again, I would encourage anybody go on to our website, go on to our student finance section and have a look there if you're still not sure because some of these forms are not easy to fill out they're long and they can be a bit complicated and if you've never filled one out before it can be a bit of a minefield so please i would encourage anybody to give us an email or call us and we'll certainly um, get back to you as soon as we could 
Thank you, Sharon. And indeed, this, there's an awful lot of excellent support services available to help our higher education students achieve their full potential by studying with us. That concludes our virtual open evening uh, tonight, folks. Uh, don't forget to log in and join us tomorrow night when we'll be discussing higher education and higher level apprenticeships available in our faculty uh, of automotive and computing and engineering. Thank you all for joining us and remember, for more details of all our programmes, please visit our website and apply online at swc.ac.uk. We look forward to welcoming you to Southwest College in September.